Today is the start of Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference, or WWDC. Apple just unveiled iOS 8 and OS X 10.10 Yosemite for the first time, so let's take a look at what's new and cool for both of these new releases. On the OS X 10 front, Apple officially unveiled OS X 10.10 Yosemite at the conference, featuring a new interface, updates to existing apps, and a host of improvements designed to help you seamlessly interact between devices. The interface has seen a shift towards the flatter design language that was introduced with iOS 7. Notification Center sees an update and gains a Today view to see your calendar, reminders, weather, and more. You can also set up additional apps to show updates in the Notification Center. Spotlight saw an update as well, getting a new interface that shifts the search right to the center of the display. As you type, the contents of the search shift depending on what you're searching for. Spotlight will also now pull in information from web search results, displaying info from Wikipedia or Yelp, for example, when you search for something relevant. Another topic of conversation was Mail, which has been updated to make it easier to send large attachments with a technology called MailDrop. This will let you send attachments of up to 5 gigs via iCloud to your recipient. If they don't have iCloud, they'll see a link at the bottom to let them securely download the file. As for Safari, it's received a big overhaul both in the looks and the functionality department. The search bar now lets you see your favorite websites at a glance as soon as you click into the search field, so you can eliminate the favorites bar if you want. Starting to type a search on something will also bring in snippets of Wikipedia results right in the search field. And new tabs improvements let you scroll through your tabs or get a bird's eye view of all your open tabs quickly and easily. On the continuity side of things, the AirDrop feature now works between iOS and Mac. They introduced a new feature called Handoff that lets your devices be aware of each other in terms of proximity. A simple swipe up will let you continue what you're doing from your Mac to your iPad or vice versa. It's also much easier to create hotspots. When you go to your Wi-Fi menu, your Mac will see your phone and prompt you to set up a hotspot. SMS and calls were also a big topic of conversation. It will let your phone act as a relay to automatically send your texts and phone calls between devices. This will also let you accept and place phone calls on your phone using your Mac. OS X 10.10 will be available in the fall for free. If you want to get a chance to check it out before the release, though, you can sign up for beta access over the summer.